Hi, so we're going to like um, take a, the background out of a drawing. So what we need to do is go to File, click Open, and we need to select our drawing um, that we want to um, take the background out of. Let's find it. I think it's under Pictures. <laughs> right at the bottom there it is now when you prepare a drawing you have to prepare it where you've got like no broken lines around the outside um, so I've just gone round it like the drawing and make sure there's no broken lines so nothing can like uh, leak inwards you know like um, uh, so like what you got to do is you got to go to the magic wand you click that right click it as well just to make sure it goes on it and then you've selected it and you need to select the white area so you need to and then click delete on your keyboard you just gotta wait and then it takes the background out now there could be a few little white areas you can notice near the head, so I'll just zoom in. Let me zoom in again. There's a couple of white areas here, so just click in in there and then click delete again. And then click in there and just like check the overall image. Um, just to make sure, maybe we should zoom out again. I think that's good to go. Um, I want to get rid of that um, signature as well, so I'll just go over to this icon. It's the spot healing brush, but I need to right click that. And I need the content aware move tool. And that just there, uh, it creates like a lasso. So you just draw around it. And then you just click delete on your keyboard. And it gets rid of that now like uh, if you've really wanted to uh, check all the background and everything like for little imperfections like little dots and things like that and then you maybe want to like you know delete them and, you know find them like that and then delete them or you know just go go through and check all the edges and stuff like that but now I just go to file we go to export as and we always do a PNG because it keeps the transparency because if you want to put this on a t-shirt or things like that then it'll be easy to do so just click that it takes a bit of time because we're using like photo P so it's like um, an online browser so it's dependent on uh, the memory you have on your computer there we go And we just click save because it's like the highest quality there. And then we can just click to open just to see our file. It's not going to be perfect because you need to like um, get rid of some of the edges. There, now we can see. Uh, there's a few little dots here and there but other than that it's a, a decent image a transparent image to put on t-shirts or anything like that so yeah there we go simple as it's a simple way to do it with using photop.com so just check it out thanks for watching